G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is going to be a little walkthrough of the little quest line that is attached to the Captain Cosmos thing. So, um, apparently there's a weapon in this other than just the power armor, which I didn't know until recently. So I'm guessing I'll have to bite the bullet, buy this one, and, um, yeah, see what that's all about too. So we're on the quest line right now, we've got the objective pointing in that sort of a direction, and we are going right out to the back of, um, Super Duper Mart here, which is pretty neat. There's the Captain Cosmos, 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 um, uh, thing there, so we'll just teleport there and we'll get started. <laughs> Okay, so immediately I spawn in and there's a mini swan hitting me, so we'll just um, mess him up a little bit. There we go. There's also a bunch of ghouls around. Also, we're walking. Don't worry, I've got a button to press. I'm in an I'm in uh, manual walk mode. So this is the anti-material rifle. Um, yeah, my aim is shit, but um, if I was actually able to aim... Yeah, this thing semi-auto too. That's kind of cool, right? Yeah, I've been uh, tweaking it a little bit in the creation... Um, I was about to say club again. So here we go. Here's a unique uh, asset there. It's just a truck and you've got tiny little shipping containers on it. The ones outside um, Vault 111 are the first ones you encounter in the game and now they're in tiny form. So um, yeah, my seven bucks put to good work here. So we've got the hubris delivery locations here. That's a note with a holo tape. A key there. We'll be needing that later. That's junk. That's junk. This Captain Cosmos toy box though. They'll be important later. So we'll pick those up. And we'll go ahead and get stuck into our, um, or our little note that we found, and we'll find out where to go next. Okay, delivery locations from Budwalls to Jimmy Hayes. Date, October 3rd, 2077. Jimmy, here's a list of today's delivery locations for the Captain Cosmos toys. The reception said they're using some high-tech space gear from the United States Space Administration. Ask her to let you in and get a sneak peek, but make it quick. You're on the clock. And with that, we've got the locations just here, and now we can go ahead and, yep, we've got another objective marker for down there, down in Hub 360, so we'll just go somewhere near there. This place is close enough. Okay, just outside of Mass Bay Medical, we'll just need to go through these parts just to get around the corner and go to Hub 360. There's going to be a couple of super mutants on the way, so we'll quickly dispatch them with our um, new anti-material rifle that is semi-auto and does a lot more damage, as you can tell there. So we'll just pop around the corner here, I believe. We're about a bee's dick away from it now, so according to this, we've got to go up, though, and um, I shot the ball there because my game is stuttering and I thought it all tabbed on me. But no, we're fine as just being Fallout 4. Okay, we've cleared enough Super Mutants, let's go in here. And once you're inside, just go into this Hubris Studios thing. This is a completely new thing, I believe. So yeah, again, the creation clubs are altering the vanilla map, adding something new in. Okay, now we're inside a cell, and this is completely new stuff here. So yeah, take a look around. There's a couple of unique assets lying around. So a lot more work has been, obviously made into this one compared to the previous weapon or sorts of power armor deals which are just little things that you access through your um thing there or so your, your little workstation so right now here's the equipment delivery that'll get us to where we need so there's a couple of glowing rad roaches here we'll quickly dispatch of them yep probably overkill hitting those guys with the over 2000 hit points worth of health also there's a couple of um unique little things. Um, they're actually quite useful. They contain screws and aluminium, which are relatively hard to come by if you haven't got the right perks. Also, here's Johnny Morton. He's legendary. He probably was mentioned in the um, things there, but I didn't really um, take any notice of that. There's some fusion cells, and here's our cryo-cosmic cannon rifle. So that is the weapon from this, but there's more to come, so it looks pretty good to be honest. Obviously, it's going to have the um, animations of the laser gun. It's got the reload little thing there, the fusion cell on the side, and the grip's vaguely the same sort of shape there. So, yeah, it's going to be using vanilla animations, which work, and any animation replaces that are out there for the laser rifle will definitely have that sort of be compatible, God. which is interesting, although I do not believe there's any... Um, actual sort of animation replaces. There's some more toy boxes there. We'll grab those things and we'll go down here. 
Okay, once we're inside here, I don't believe there's anything too dangerous in here. We've only faced some pretty low-level ghouls at this point. Opening this door up, we've got the Captain Cosmo spacesuit. And that is a spacesuit that he wears. As you can tell, it increases jump height and um, reduces falling damage, or prevents it, sorry. And we've got the orange material on this, which implies that you can change the color. And there's moon boots there. So, yeah, you can actually increase your jump height too, which is interesting. Right now, we've got the um, Grognak costume, obviously modified, and the little Pip Boy of the Grognak variety. I thought that would suit. Let's go ahead and chuck on our spacesuit. And chucking on our spacesuit there, that's what it looks like. It's kind of goofy, but sure, whatever. Alright, so we'll move on from this. The game's prompting us to go down. There's a couple of rooms in here. There might be chests around filled with generic loot, but anything isn't... There's not really all that much to sort of uh, worry about here in terms of really good loot. There's a couple of rad roaches around. Take them out if you feel like it, but it's not essential. And some of these rooms that are locked off um, have some more of this generic loot. There's some studio stuff there. A recording studio here, complete with lots of soundproofing. There's a dead dude there, he was naked for some reason because he doesn't have his clothes with him. It's just a withered feral ghoul, he'll go down easily. I think that is it for this floor though. And um, yes, of course, we're going to need a card and what I believe they are, are just in the offices somewhere. You just gotta find a, ha, ah, yes, okay. So yeah, this is a little theater room for where I'm guessing they uh, preview their things before they release them. Maybe for premieres, I'm not sure. I'm not in the showbiz industry or whatever they call it, so I uh, couldn't really tell you what's going on here. So we'll find that elevator again, put that card in, make sure we reload our anti-material rifle. And whilst it is semi-auto, um, oh I, I actually missed you for some reason, that's okay, we'll just bash you and follow it up. Yes, for some reason... <laughs> Yeah, the reload animations are still for bolt action, so you're going to eject the shell even though you don't have to after a reload. Oh well. Okay, so now we're in the main studio area, and we're pointed right to the Captain Cosmos. Cosmos. I keep saying Cosmos, I don't know why. Well, so there's Rod Stoddard. He was mentioned in the um, little things that, on the terminal. That's something I noticed, but um, we're going to kill him in style. As you can tell, we can jump pretty high with our current apparel. So we're going to use this to our advantage. We're going to get a sick trick shot off, except um, there's no way I'd be able to pull it off in real time. So in that case... Alright, keep going around. And where is he? Yeah, that was cool. And the sound finally caught up. Okay, so now you've got the different rooms. This is Jangles the Moon Monkey Studio. It's like a little playground for him. And he's got Jangles there. There's not a whole lot more in here. I'll just jump in this power armor, assuming I can let gravity pull me down. There we go. So now we've officially found the power armor. That's all we need. Um, I probably won't explore too much else in here because there isn't a lot. You might find a couple of assorted things where you've got the... Um, uh, the little toy boxes around, but you won't need them because basically everything that is contained within this creation club creation is already out there in the overworld for you to take. So we'll get to what you have to do to use those um, keys in a second. Right now, I just want to have a better look at the power armor here. So if we could just go back into the light, I was actually waiting for the bolt to crank there. That's some bad um, shooting on my part, but into the light, that's what it looked like there. It looks goofy as hell. Probably not all practical, but yeah, it's a thing that happens. I personally like the look of T60 better, but yeah, that's a thing that you get from this. It certainly looks better than the horsepower armor, so that's cool. Also, I found that the jetpack seems to lift you a little bit better than the jetpacks that you can get in the vanilla game, which might be a feature of this. I'm not sure, but we'll go ahead and check out how to, you know, fix these toolboxes up or use them, actually. Okay, taking the Skyrim exit back to our first little spot. Here we are on the main floor there, and the game's prompting us to go to this terminal here. Now, if you recognize the sort of model of this, not the texture, you might recognize it as one of those book return terminals, and basically it uses the, rede the, yeah, it's the redemption machine is what I was looking for, and you can use the toy boxes to get things. So if you pick up 20, you can get yourself another cosmic cannon, you can get another spacesuit with 20, and you can get an armor piece of the um, Captain Cosmos 
little thing there. 15, so yeah, I'm not sure if they're random because, yeah, that seems like a little bit of a waste. Mystery prize is probably just junk or a little bit of food, but nothing too great. So I don't think we have enough for that one thing. No, we don't, but yeah, we've already got all the stuff we need, and if you feel like you need more thorough expl uh, exploration of this place, you'll get enough um, toy boxes to actually get some things out of that. Not sure if they're in the overworld since they're only found in sort of unique to this um, little creation club kits boxes. But yeah, maybe these play these things do respawn. You can get yourself your hands or get your hands on a lot of the creation club uh, goodies that come from here. So taking a, a closer look at the cryo thing there, that's what it looks like in first person. That's definitely Institute Iron Sights there. I know my Fallout guns, all right. And in third person, that's what we look like with it. Obviously, power armor is oversized. It's going to look heaps smaller when you're in power armor. But it probably is going to be fine in the hands of the regular person. So I'm going to take a look at this in a video very soon. But for now, thank you for watching. Oh boy. I'm not sure if I'm happy with this thing yet. Maybe if this weapon's good, I will be. But so far, I'm not really impressed with it. Thank you for watching regardless. Catch you later.